This is question 20. Given that x is non-negative real number, find the minimum value for this expression. I recall that many years ago, there was a similar question that we will get this expression at last. The question is like this. Consider a line L and two points A and B, where the distance A from L is equal to 2, distance from B from L is equal to 3, and this is equal to 12. You're asked to find the minimum distance from A to B with the condition that you have passed through some point on the L. So you can go through this way, or go through that way, I'll go through this way. Which of the path will make a minimum distance? So let's say we arbitrarily choose one path and call this is equals to x, call this line at x, and this therefore will equal to 12 minus x. So with Pythagoras theorem, then we know that this is x, this is 2, this will be square of x square plus 2 square, right? This is 3, this is 12 minus x, and this will equal to square root of 12 minus x squared plus 3 squared. And after you expand this, this indeed is equal to square root of x squared minus 24 squared plus 153. Then how are you going to get the minimum distance here? I think you have learned it before. The simplest way is just do a refraction. So build a point B prime that is reflection of B about the line L. So this is B prime. And the distance B prime to L is again equal to 3. Call this point C. If I go from A to C to B, the distance will be exactly the same as from A to C, then from C to B prime instead of to B, because it is symmetric. With this in mind, Instead of from A to C to B, I can just need to consider from A to B prime. Because from A to B prime, with a straight line, you will definitely pass through some point here. And therefore, it is just this line. After you refract it, ah, this is the line that makes the shorter distance. The value can be obtained very easily by drawing another triangle. So this is 2, so maybe I draw here, this is 2, and this is 3. This is 2, this is 3. So this is the length, 5, and this is equal to 12. This is A, and this is B prime. So 5, 12, then we know from Pythagoras theorem, this will be equal to 13. So the shorter distance from A to B prime will be a straight line, and that is equal to 13. So this is possibly one of the way that we consider. Another way that we can consider is by geometric coordinates. It looks the same. So next we consider A to be equals to 0 to B to be equals to x0 and C to be equals to 12 negative 3. It will mean that A is a point here 0, 2. And B is somewhere here. Because X is non-negative, X should be some point here. C is a fixed point that is 12 and negative 3. So this is a C. So this is 0, 2. This is 12, negative 3. Now you can see that this is actually AB. This is AB. Length of AB. And this is length of BC. Length of BC. And from Pythagoras, and from triangle inequality, we know that this will be greater or equal to AC, where AC is equal to this one. From the geometric co coordinates, this is 2, 3, again this is 5, this is 12, so this will be equal to 13. And the equality holds if we move the point B to this point here. It is possible to achieve. And therefore, again, we confirm that 13 is the answer.
13 is answer for question 20.